Okay. Um. Hello. Fuck. Wait. <laughs> Let me take off the X. All right. What's up? Hello. Did you miss me? Let me turn on the light real quick. So hi. I'm wearing eyeliner. Yes, I am, and it's pretty terrible looking, but I don't care. I still enjoy doing what I did. Does it make me pretty? <laughs> What's up? Anybody watch the video? And today I'm back once again. We're not gonna discuss it. The only reason why I'm I was gone for such a long time, Minecraft, and then I got lazy. That's about it. Also, the the same issues from last time from that update video I made. But still, it's whatever. I told you I'll be back. I told you I would grind out YouTube in 2021, and we're back, and it's halfway over the month. Well, I mean the year, but still. 2021, I'm grinding it out. We're gonna do the editing, okay? And by the way, if you don't like this video or whatever, stay tuned for tomorrow because I have a, uh, a G mod video with my boy, my homie, my bro, Jumpy. We play prop hunt. It's fun. It's a short video, but still, it's so freaking fun, okay? So hopefully, you watch that. I don't know what time, but just please put notifications to all if you don't watch it. You're probably wondering why am I wearing different clothes? That video, that that first clip. That was a month ago. We are back. You're probably wondering what it look like a female. Take your fucking mind, Matt. No, smile. <laughs> I'm straight, but I can still do it. <laughs> also, I forgot to realize that. Boom. We got a new layout. Boom. New layout for the channel for who knows how long until. Probably get some feedback on this if you like it or not. But anyways, what are we doing today? We're doing trash trends on social media. Trash trends on social media. If you don't know what that is, let me explain it to you. It's pretty much when I diss any trend on the planet, on the internet planet, actually, was, was what, I, was what I meant to say. But yeah, we diss any trend, uh, any trend, pretty much, even if I like it or not. So equality, equal rights on stuff. Some stuff might get sensitive in the future, but hey, you know, is the, the title is what the title is. And you're probably wondering well, what a brony is. Uh, I'm not gonna explain it. Because if I do, it's probably going to lead to some hate. All I'm going to see is they're like furries. Except they don't do stuff with animals. They wear fedoras. Well, I think furries do too. Uh, and they come in herds. They also look like they're probably in their 20s. Have, have you seen, if you've seen the show Gypsy Brides, uh, it's like that. But they're geeky looking. They don't care about chicks. That's, that's another thing I forgot to mention. We are doing it like this. New update to the trash trend social media. We're gonna be right here ish, and the video's gonna play right here ish. Don't know why I said it like that, but still, let's just get into the video. It's the documentary we're gonna watch over Brony, so we're gonna learn a lot. See, my channel, we're educational, we're gonna learn about bronies. So, yeah, all right, you know what time it is. We are gonna get into this. So, grab your bronies, grab your Ponies. I don't know what I was trying to say there, but anyways, let's start this already. We all loved kids' TV shows when we were kids, but some people never grow out of it. Meet the Bronies. Look at this guy, dude. <laughs> With my little pony backpack, of course. Hi, I'm Sam. By day, I'm a mortgage conveyancer at a law firm. But in my spare time, I'm also a brony. Wait, what do you say? He's a conformative? What? <laughs> Dude, come on now. Like, okay, I'm like, sometimes, okay, I'm so, so, I'm gonna be real with you guys. Okay, sometimes I'm one of those people who like looks up at somebody and like, sometimes, rarely, actually I should say rarely, I'll just went off their appearance. This guy's one of them. He gives me those vibes. I'm like, this guy has some sus activity somewhere. I don't know where. They all look really disgusting to me. I don't know. They all do. They look like they like sneeze in the cough and sneeze in their hand. That's how I get the vibe off these people. That's how I feel about them. That's what I think whenever I see them. So a brony is someone that's interested in the Man of the Pony, more specifically, Friendship is Magic, the fourth generation of shows. It's a term basically that refers to a fan in the same way that Trekker does for Star Trek or Whovian does for Doctor Who. 
They're basically someone who's a fan of the franchise, watches the show, might collect merchandise like this, um, and basically just in enjoys uh, talking about it. Okay, I'm sorry. Look at his head. His hair is greased onto his forehead. Wherever his forehead starts and ends, but still is is there. You can see they're dirty. They're not the cleanest type of person. They're second, in my opinion, they're like the second dirtiest. And we have like hobos in. I'm sorry, that's probably mean, but still, you know, we got hobos, and these people are the dirtiest. Furries and Bernies, they're, they we just put them in the same section at this point because they're equally as dirty looking like the, look how shiny his hair is <laughs> that's just crazy <laughs> i'm sorry it's probably fucked but still like come on now like you can't ignore it and sharing it with friends obviously there are some people that look at it weird usually parents oh it's not only pony. parents you know well but outside the fandom there are people who assume there's something more sinister involved some people seem to think that it's sexual attraction to the characters or that they might want to do things with actual horses um, or they collect the I mean, uh, cuddly toys or whatever to do lewd things to them, that kind of thing, um, which is, again, sensationalist type and completely untrue. OK, um, I'll have to stop you right there. I've seen a lot of things on uh, dude. There's, there's, of course, body pillows. So you already know there's people out there. I also seen a video where like two dudes were in like or two people were like in like my little pony costumes or whatever and they did some questionable things at a concert or concert com a meetup whatever the hell you call it you can't say it's all completely untrue because there are some weirdos they might be even doing some furry stuff aka doing stuff with animals i've seen the show help a lot of people oh. deal with depression with suicidal thoughts social isolation anxiety and so on okay you're not we just generally it. do a lot of socializing really and it helps with a lot of people who tend to struggle with it because a lot of people that are into this kind of stuff usually have some kind of some form of autism so obviously when it comes to social cues and that they kind of struggle with these kind of meets i feel like there's some kind of some kind of some kind of way of helping with that kind of stuff really all of us tend to rally around and support each other because that's the kind of people we are okay um <laughs> Even, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be a dick about this one. Okay, you know we all have our issues, but like <laughs> the thing about it is with that those scenes when they were talking about like their personal issues is that they put the ponies in the, the one with that first scene with that one pony, it just looked creepy. Like it looked creepy. It didn't even look sad. It just looked like a creepy thing. Like having the pony with a sad face, it just it just pushes everything out the way for me. It, it's like like I'm trying to care because you know, you know, you know, we all have our issues regardless of like how disgusting and disrespectful we are. But like, come on, dude. You even with the hash you put the hashtag in. You you're not making you you're making this like you, you ruined that whole sad moment. Might bring along some merchandise as well to show off. Um shirts, maybe one of the cuddly toys, my bag definitely. Um a bit more of a uh, a uh, brony presence, um, shall we say, about my person than normal. He's literally on the street right now. <laughs> Look at them coming in just herds, dude. Going out to the cinema. That Griffin over there. That with creepy friends. looking it's greasy hair, true. dude. Oh man, the Magic the Gathering looking guy. <laughs> so who's looking forward to the film? Yeah. Yes. 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 Let's go! That, I bet that was so awkward in person. If you didn't cut it, I guarantee it was silent. Yay. They're just waiting for a response. Alright. <laughs> so hi. Future Dre here. I didn't have an outro, so this is the outro. Uh, so thank you all so much for watching. Please do leave a like. Wait, I don't know how I do it. Remember your stuff. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Put notifications to all because we post randomly every week. And leave a like on this video to know that you like this and also for more content or whatever. And drink your water.
I would say wear your mask, but you should definitely like, you know, you know take off the mask at this point because I want to be the only person in public wearing them now. I miss it. Also, I remember when those two security guards wanted to tackle me because I wore a mask in the casino. But yes, that is all. And also eat your vitamins, not the Hulk Hogan vitamins. And that is it. That is most likely it. Yeah. Also, by the way, tomorrow, new video. Wake up. Wake up.